You once said that Nigeria is at war with itself. Well, what are your thoughts on what happened in Owo on Sunday and the spirit of killings uh, across different parts of the country? Well, thank you very much indeed for inviting me to this program. Well, yes, thank I you very did much say indeed that Nigeria for was at war with itself. Now, what happened in Owo on Sunday is a further manifestation of this state of internecine war, which has been born by the fundamentally flawed arrange, political arrangement in Nigeria, um, where we have just one single police force pretending to be policing the, a nation the size of Nigeria. Yes, and the complex complexity of Nigeria. The size of the Nigerian police <coughs> today is less than the size of the Indian, uh, Indian, Indian Railway Police. The, the police force of Indian Railway Corporation is bigger than the, the Nigerian police force. So how can we expect the Nigerian police force to single-handedly single police Nigeria effectively, particularly in these days of extremism and uh, unprovoked violence across the world. You are talking about the police. Are you recommending state police as an option? Or you will uh, recommend that vigilante groups like the Amotekun will be the best option uh, for Nigeria uh, to adopt across the various states of the Federation? Equivocally, I recommend, I've been, I've been, and I've been recommending for many years, the establishment of state police and local government police as well. When, when I was a child here in Akure, Akure Native Authority had its own police force. And the Western region had its own Western Regional Police Force. And we also had the Nigerian police force. We had three police forces in the colonial period. But when the Civil War came, the other two police forces were, were abolished and the personnel were given quick training and absorbed into the Nigerian army. That's what happened. So the sooner we return to, 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 to what made sense in the colonial period, the better for us. The establishment of Amoteko was uh, as a result of failure for the powers that be to agree to states having state police forces. I believe, and I've said so in my book, The Way Forward for Nigeria, that any government at whatever level, federal, state, local, possesses inherent powers to have a police force to enforce its enactments, be they laws or regulations or bylaws. Uh, even universities and institutions have police forces abroad. I don't know why it has become such a, a huge issue here that states should not, as a matter of course, have police forces. It, it, state police forces should have been in establishment since independence. That's the truth of the matter.